Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Twisted CV Ranch. I'm out here taking Mr. Mouse for a walk at the Kentucky Horse Park for the RRP. Um, at about 8.30, we will do our horsemanship pattern. And then about five o'clock, they run, um, they'll run the first round of barrels and we are draw number 12. We had a really good practice run yesterday. I put that in the video from yesterday um, that I posted. So if you all just wanna check that out, I'll keep you updated as we go. So we are currently waiting on the horsemanship pattern to start. We've had a little technical difficulties this morning. <laughs> so we are, we're getting there slowly. Kentucky, not gonna happen is a 2019 Dark Bay Gilded, gilded by Commissioner out of no fun by Denman. He was bred in Louisiana by Jay Adcock and Hugh Wardle. Last work was in December of 21 at Ashford, Ashwood Training Center. Not gonna happen is unraced. He's competing this week in barrel racing. So we made it to the horsemanship part, um, and now we are waiting to do our rail run, which starts at five o'clock this evening. Um, we will know what we scored in horsemanship, hopefully soon. So I will let you guys know how we did with that.
Hey guys, and good morning. Um, I just thought I'd add how we did yesterday. Um, yesterday the at eight o'clock we did our horsemanship pattern and we scored a two point three zero zero, so that tied us for fifth. Um, and then we came in for our barrel run and we ran an eighteen point zero zero five, and we are currently sitting second. So I'm hopeful that if we keep it clean and um our jockey helm like I did yesterday that we should hopefully make the finale on Saturday. We're crossing our fingers. And this morning I'm just letting him out to stretch his legs. This is, I do believe, part of the steeplechase field. Um, I'm not 100% positive. I've never been on this side of the horse park. So I'm completely unsure, but we're just riding around on some grass. Next here then. Stony Ring is handler 332, Brooke Frederick. Handling not gonna happen. Next entry in the ring is handler 813, Reba Merritt. With crazy hey guys, another update coming to you here. Um, our first run was an 18.005. We ended up running Thursday as well. And we ran another 1801, I believe. Um, so in the average, that ended up putting us first in the average. So we are going into the finale, um, sitting in first place. Of course, the finale today is a clean slate run. So all I need to do is be clean and help him where he needs help. And 
we are crossing our fingers that we get to bring home that blanket that says 2022 Barrel Racing Chip. It, if not, it has been a fun week. Um, when we did our finale jog yesterday, they turned down a lot of horses. And I was starting to get really, really nervous. And um, when I trotted away from the vet, Mouse did great. I turned and I walked around the little decoration and then when I asked him to trot, pick up the trot again and trot back to the judge or to the vet he decided that it was a good day to be a kite and so I thought they were going to make me redo my jog but they didn't which was I was so grateful I was about ready to be sick um Caleb has been up here every day that I have competed except and of course, I didn't compete Tuesday, so he wasn't here. But he's been here every day. Mouse also was your top Louisiana bred, um, which was the highest placing horse that was bred in that state. So Mouse ended up winning that award. Um, and he also won the preliminary round of braille racing. So he got an award last night as well. So I'm currently sitting in the truck waiting to get him ready. Caleb is on his way up here. I have the finale going. They just finished up the third discipline and we are the eighth. So I will let you know how it goes. So stay tuned. <laughs> We have number 332 not going to happen in Brooke Frederick from Magnolia, Kentucky. Kept it real close to the barrels around that. There is a very specific strategy of pulling a little wide initially so you can get them really on their heels and turn real close around it. Those were good turns. 18.111 seconds. Pretty clear there. Brooke, who's main gelding in barrel racing is an OTTB and is qualified for the national barrel horse. So as you can see, we made it back home. Um, Friday, we had our finale jog since we were in the top five to go back into the finale round on Saturday. Mouse passed that with flying colors. And then we also had our halter class where I believe he placed fourth in the performance gilding halter. And then Saturday we had our finale ran, run. We ran about four o'clock or so. Um, Mouse was the last horse out of the barrel racer since he had placed first in the preliminary round and the average. Um, he ended up running an 18-1-1-1. Second place I believe was a 19-2. So he ended up coming home as your 2022 retired racehorse project thoroughbred makeover barrel racing champion. We got home about 10 o'clock last night. <clears throat> um, he came home great. He's feeling good. I'm going to give him some time off and then you all will be seeing him a lot more in our vlogs since he has earned a spot here for the rest of his life, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> 